Toussaint Louverture is known as the leader of the Haitian Revolution. However, there is one man who is known as a spark. In this video, we're going to get into his story. Hi everybody, I'm Delon, and this is Cultural Coliseum. Today we're going to be talking about Daddy Bookman and the Haitian Revolution. If you like more videos about culture, please subscribe to Cultural Coliseum and turn your notifications on. And don't forget to follow Creator Source Studios on all social media platforms. Now, Daddy Bookman was born in 1767. There isn't any solid agreement between sources, but some say he was born in West Africa in Senegambia, and some say he was born in Jamaica, but what they agree on is that he was a Jamaican slave. Now, in his time of enslavement in Jamaica, he was able to learn how to read, hence his last name, Bookman, later changed to Bookman, and with his ability to read, he was able to talk to slaves in a different way as he was educated about the reality of enslavement. And the English slave masters saw this as a threat to slavery as he can encourage the slaves to revolt, which gave him the first name Duddy or Dirty. And eventually the slave owners saw him as a threat and not worth owning, so they sold him to French slave owners in Haiti. When he arrived to Haiti, he got involved in voodoo and became a priest. Now voodoo for the slaves was an important part of their culture. It was found upon by the slave masters and banned in voodoo for the slaves was kind of a revolt in an autonomous activity and it boded well for Duddy because he wanted the slaves to rise up and he also became a headman or the leader of the slaves so he used his spot to encourage slaves to rebel and that the way they were living was not the best way to live and he eventually teamed up with other leaders and formulated a plan for rebellion and that culminated into one fateful night. On August 14th or August 21st of 1791, Duddy leads a voodoo ceremony in the middle of the night. Now the ceremony is to kick off the revolution or the revolt that has been planned for months. There's leaders from all across Haiti and the ceremony is to encourage them. And within days, the slaves start the revolt. There's fires across the north of Haiti. The sugarcane farms are burnt and the slaves attack their slave masters and then they grow stronger and then they're organized and they continue until December when Duddy is found by the French and killed but not only is he killed he is beheaded and put on a stake as a way to show the slaves that they need to stop and the slaves see this and they mourn, have, but however, they continue and they eventually earn their freedom. Now, to close off this video, I want to leave you guys with a question. Did you guys learn about the Haitian Revolution in school? And if so, how much? Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share and subscribe and turn your notifications on. And be sure to follow Creator Source Studios on all platforms.